Chicago, like gangsters, mobs, like I already did. Isn't that gun for evil purposes? Anyway, stay safe and don't take any unnecessary risks. I'm on faint again. Miss you, bro. Sincerely, George Jackson. Uh, I need to fight him back. Dear George Jackson, thank you for writing back. I've not spoken to you for a while. Thank you for remembering my rank up in the military. I know you can take my celebration because of Dad's cancer, but I hope he gets better. But me making young higher means I get more pay to help our family. Congratulations for getting the job at all ordinance. Remember, you are dealing with weapons which can kill people. Always remember that, and no one will get hurt. And tell me when the cops catch Al Capone. I'd love to know that my family will be safe. Unfortunately, yes, my comrade in the army, Lupius, died in the battle. He also be remembered as a good soldier, a great man, and an even better friend. Those Germans won't know what hit him when we strike again. Now let me tell you a little bit about the Thompson submachine gun that you mentioned. Shooting this gun is a little tough, simply because I can carry a fully automated weapon in the palms of my hands. It is small, light, and can shoot over 700 rounds per minute. Even though the first design shot over 1,000, but it wasted much air, too much ammo, so it reduced it to 700. Not only that, the new gun has a cuts compensator, so it's easier to keep the recoil in check. But the military decided the gun had horrible iron sights. My opinion disagreed with that. But the final design was the M1A1, without the cuts crime sight. It also accepts and only accepts 20 to 30 round magazines, unlike the other one, which could hold 50 to 100 rounds. Also, it has simpler iron sights. I should show it to you sometime. Mainly what I'm trying to get at is that Thompson has saved many of us and still will. Anyways, I better get going. I've always needed. By the way, they, always t they told me the next time they could come home. In about three days' time, I'll be home, and don't forget to tell Mom and Dad about that. Tell them I love them, and I look forward to seeing them again. Sincerely, Commander Jackson.